Hello everyone and welcome back to another Skyrim Mods video. This time we're going to be taking a look at two mods today. One of them being Elemental Destruction Magic and the other one being Three Katana Mod. The first one is titled Elemental Destruction Magic and this is actually an extension of a previous mod that I covered which was the Water and Wind spells. If you want to check out that Destruction Magic mod I will leave a little annotation here on the video. Up to the right hand side you can click on that and watch the two Water and Wind spells. They are the same spells that would be in this mod themselves. It's just combined now with a new element, Earth. So when you download and install the mod, you can buy these spells and anyone that sells them, provided you have a high left level. The spells that you can buy is going off from Novice to Master, Gravel, Earth Rune, Rock Blast, Rock Cloak, Stalagmite, Boulder, Wall of Earth, and Earthquake. We'll go from Namas to Master, starting off with Gravel. Or gravel. This is your standard spray, as you get with Flames. Nice effect. Next up being Earth Rune. Pretty straightforward. And Earth Rune is placed on the ground. And whenever it's stepped on, it explodes in earth magic damage. Next up is Rock Blast, which is a the first variant of a boulder that you can cast. Pretty straightforward. Well, not visually appealing as the stone's a bit too small for my taste, it does do enough damage. Next up is Rock Cloak. For 60 seconds, opponents around you take 8 points of damage. It also has a very nice effect with the dust and the little bits of rock surrounding your body. Next up, Stalagmite. Whenever you cast a spell and it hits any wall or surface, a stalagmite will raise from the ground, and if it kills them, they will launch the opponent up in the air. Just give a brief demonstration. Now ain't this a surprise? We'll do that one more time. Never should have come here. There you go. Next up being Boulder, which is a more powerful variant of the Rock Blast. Same effect, it does slightly more damage and costs a bit more magic. The Expert level, Wall of Earth. This is what you expect with the Flames, or Flame Wall spell. Just simple earth, little stalagmites pile up. Slows the enemy and also causes damage over time. And the last spell you get is Earthquake, which is a master level spell which causes the earth to shake for 20 seconds and enemies in the vicinity will take damage over time. Unfortunately, while the effect and the mod, or while the effects that you can buy the spell, I have trouble issuing this mod. It does not seem to actually affect enemies. You a bad time to get we'll cast off. it one more time. And as you can see, there's no visual effect to these enemies actually taking damage. So there may be a problem with the spell itself. I would definitely um, check the load order or anything like that. The second mod I'm showing off today is called Three Katana Mod. What this does is gives you three elemental katanas, one being fire, another being ice, and another one being light. The fire katana. Here's a brief look at its model. Nice flame effects. And all these swords, when you equip them, come with the animation of you actually holding the hilt in one hand, and then drawing the sword, and still holding the hilt. 
one thing to note with the fire uh, katana is that whenever you go into first person mode, the screen will darken for whatever reason. It seems to be a small bug with this particular katana. Probably because the flame effects on the sword itself. So be aware of that if you fight in first person mode. The second katana. Ice katana. Don't know why it does that. That is a weird bug. But as you can see, the visual effect is actually pretty, um, pretty cool as well. Nice little ice effects around the sword itself. A nice little ice particle as well. Whenever you strike, either in the air or whenever you hit an opponent, it makes a icicle type sound. As though you're shattering ice. There seems to be no bugs with this one other than when you try to preview it in the actual menu itself. It seems to be a slight bug with that. The final sword you get with this pack is the Lightning Katana. As you hear, it's kind of similar to the look of the Flame Katana. Same little bug there when you try and preview it, as you can see. But at least you can see the model a bit more clearly now. Nice little electric effect. Makes a shock sound whenever you strike. In order to access these weapons, they cannot be crafted. You have to actually use the console command to actually obtain these weapons. So in order to do so, go into the console command, type in help, and then in parentheses type in katana. Close the parentheses, and at the bottom you can see there is the lightning katana, the fire katana, and the ice katana. Your numbers may differ, but in order to actually access any of the items for those who are new to the console command, type in player dot add item and then type in the number ID for example we're gonna do another fire katana so it'll be three four zero five four FD and then at the end you can add as many as you want for this example we're only gonna add one and as you can see in my inventory it added a second fire katana so that's how you access each one of these weapons As always, I will leave a link down in the description for you to check out these mods if you want to download them yourselves. If you do like them, make sure you leave your endorsements or your comments and share them around with other people as well as this video. It helps out the authors as well as my videos as well to spread them out so people who are interested in these mods but don't actually get to see them can actually check them out. And as always, leave your comments down below if you want me to check out a mod. I'll do the best of my abilities to take a look at it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later. Later.